sunset at Slab City. This is my spacious neighborhood. This is a high rent district, I think. Not sure. The rules here are a little bit skewed. Look at this house right here. I'll get a picture of it tomorrow. It's like a little uh, square building with a deck on the roof, railing, chairs, sofa on the top. And we got a nice RV here. Chosen spot for one night. I'm glad I came. This is uh, quite interesting. Now over here this guy has an RV with a golf cart. Or no, it's an old trailer. And this guy's got a Looks like a ATV. Here's a couple of trailers. There's a home built house here with a nice truck out there. It's even got a satellite dish there. It looks pretty dead gum fancy. Now, I don't know what the rules are here in terms of ownership. I'm guessing if you built something here, whoever owns the land, which is probably the government, can come along one day and Tell you to skedaddle. Oh, that's an RV there. I think. It's kind of hard to tell. All right. It's been a nice day. I stopped at a rest stop and I was uh, sitting at a picnic table there in the shade because it was a warm day. And this lady was there. So I started talking to her about. She's, she's traveling around in a van all summer camping. She lives in L.A. And she told me about Slab City, which is only about 8 or 10 miles from where I was at. So I came back up here to it. And uh, I had heard about it before. I'd heard it's like this homeless camp with a lot of druggies and weirdos and stuff like that, but it's actually not bad. It's got it's like a city. It's got a it has a library, it has a, a Christian center, it has a uh, community center, it has an internet cafe. <laughs> uh, it's a trip. It's just out in the middle of nowhere, near the Salton Sea. Uh, in the desert. Uh, there's no water source, there's no sewage system. I don't know how they I don't know how they manage. And here it looks like that somebody's dug some kind of pipes. I don't know what the deal is here. There's some kind of drainage system for a camper maybe? I don't know. This guy's got a water tank on a trailer. So he's got plenty of water. All right, this is where I camped at last night. I'm in Slab City. It's near Nalina, California, on Salton Sea. I'm in the high rent district here. There are all kinds of people up here. I mean, it's everything. Everything from buses, houses, RVs, junky trailers, everything. There's no water, no sewage, no power. But I don't know how many people are here, at, but it's a lot. All right, here I am in Slab City, heading out. Look at this guy, he's got him a camouflage garage. Now check this place out here, it's got a, uh, it's like a home built place, huh? A little shanty with a uh, rooftop and deck. All right, uh, that's a, does that say tavern? And of course you got the uh, boat, the SS Minnow. Lots of old tires around here. The sign there says reserve for theme camps. What does that mean? I have no idea. This place is something. 
This almost looks like a paved road here. I think this is a low road, they call it. So, the way you mark off an area is with tires. They seem to have a surplus of tires there everywhere. Right, there's a whole bunch of houses over here. Trailers mostly. Trailers and old RVs. And, uh, they have obviously had a good time here. It says Oasis. I guess that's the local bar. I don't know. This place is a trip. Now look at this. That's pretty chunky right there, doesn't it? Barking dogs are the background course of the uh, theme park here. Look at that. Does somebody actually live there? I think not. That's a big foundation. Yeah, that's a dog out there. Somebody lives there. Unreal. Slab City. Look at this. All the aluminum's been stripped off of this trailer. <laughs> this is where old trailers come to die. Well, maybe this guy's got some kind of salvage operation going on here. Unbelievable. Boats. All right. Now, see, he's got him a... RV with a little uh, book enclosure. All right, slab low lows, slab lows. All right, whatever that means. That's that's the name of that road, the low road. Here's the uh, church. They have a library. They have uh, a community center. All right, well, there's some slabs right here. Maybe that's where the name comes from. I gotta get a picture of this. This doesn't seem to be a lot of traffic here. I mean, what's this right here? Some kind of, it's a shoe tree. <laughs> Every good place has gotta have a shoe tree. You see people just uh, pulling here, park, Lots of boats here. I guess because it's a lake. But they're on dry ground now. Slab City. Could this be the future of America? If we ever have a depression, there will probably be lots of these camps around urban areas. This was uh, 150 miles from Los, uh, Los Angeles, maybe 180. So it's a uh, pretty good ways from an urban area, but these, and these people come from all over the place. Some look like they've uh, put down roots here, like this guy here. Maybe he has a well, I don't know. Maybe this was an old mining area. All right, here's the uh, Salvation City. That's a tourist mecca there too. This guy plopped down right here and, and did his folk art. Leonard Knight was the guy's name. Right, here's Hot Springs, the entrance. Pretty nice. Well, the water was uh, nice and warm. Kind of silty. The place is trashy. Now, what did this used to be? It's a nice old building. Must have been a bank building. 
That would be some kind of mine. Hey, look at this. It's turkey time. That had to be some kind of mining operation. And I'm guessing Slab City was uh, the housing area where there's a bunch of trailers that people, the workers are, lived at. That's just a wild guess. I don't know. An island. What a trip that place was. It wasn't a very big town. If I hadn't stopped in uh, at, the, at the rest area and talked to that lady, I would never. I would have just driven right on by it. It wasn't bad staying there last night. Actually, it was pretty quiet when the dogs finally went to sleep. All right, this is a driving day. It's a uh, 7:51. Let's see how many miles I can rack up today.